Hi, this is Tony Critty coming to you live from NAB 2013, and I'm here with John Bailey from Isotope. John, thanks for joining us here. Thanks for having me, Tony. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, so, John, you are the, uh, are you, I'm what's your role? Director yeah. of Engineering Director of Engineering at Isotope. Engineer Isotope. Yep. Um, so, we were just chatting, you're telling me a little bit about your past. You have an engineering background, obviously, but yep. you have a music background. I do, yes. Uh, so, I've been at Isotope for a couple of years. I'm pretty new in my role as Director of Engineering. Before that, I was a lead developer at Isotope, responsible for uh, recent releases such as Iris, which is our uh, first virtual synthesizer product, uh, and Trash 2.0, which is an update to our uh, classic uh, distortion, complete distortion solution plugin. Um, I, yeah, I come from, a, as you say, an engineering and music background. I studied uh, computer science at Stanford University. I've been working as a software developer for about 15 years. I also studied electronic music production at Berklee College of Music, which is where I first learned Pro Tools, uh, awesome. which is an All important right. part of the curriculum there and uh, something that I had been wanting to learn for a long time and was excited to finally start to really dive into in great depth there. Very cool. I think it, it takes, it, you know, obviously it takes more than an engineering background to, to come up and, and, and design products as cool as, as those that you just mentioned. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, AAX and where you guys are. You've, you've yeah. ported a ton of your stuff over yeah. to AAX. Yeah, um, yeah we have, um, at this point, we have um, almost all of our, our, certainly all of our flagship products and almost all of our plugins supporting AAX. Uh, so we have, uh, we've recently released patches for Ozone and Nectar. Ozone's our complete mastering solution and Nectar is our complete vocal production solution. So those are both supporting AAX. Uh, and we've also have uh, RX, our uh, repair and restoration plugin supports AAX. Uh, Alloy, our mixing plugin, and Trash, which I just mentioned, supports AAX as well. And finally, Insight, which is our uh, new metering plugin, uh, works with AAX too. So yeah, we've, we've uh, been working with uh, the AAX SDKs over the past year or so. Um, uh, with uh, the announcement of Pro Tools 11 and AAX 2.0.1, we're working with that SDK as well. And uh, you know, speaking of AAX 2.0 and Pro Tools 11, congratulations on the announcement, which just came out for the uh, as part of the NAB Thank news. Thank you. This is really exciting. I mean, this the NAB show for Avid is like the Super Bowl. You know, it's our biggest, and this this release has just made it so gratifying. So thanks. It's been yeah. awesome. I know our customers' 64-bit um, support has been something that's been very important to our customers. So I'm sure your customers have been asking for the same thing as well, and they must be fired up that now Pro Tools 11, with Pro Tools 11, they'll have 64-bit support, and they'll be able to you know, use bigger files if they need that and get the other benefits of 64-bit. Uh, yeah. So what do you think your customers are, what do you think the biggest benefits of 64-bit and the new Pro Tools, well, the new Avid Audio Engine and Pro Tools 11? Yeah, well, I think, be for the, the you know, I mean, guys. Being, being able to use our plugins in that, if that's the environment they prefer and they have the, the you know, desire to work in a 64-bit context, just being able to use our plugins there is going to be pretty important to them. So, you know, like I said before, I mean, we're really committed to, you know, we support a variety of host Pro Tools included. Um, so, so it's important to us to be there. You know, where our customers want to use our tools, we need to be able to provide them that ability and that access. Um, in terms of specific technical support, um, you know, we're, we're mostly still targeting native applications. Um, and so for something, as I mentioned, Iris, that's our virtual synthesizer, you know, now the limitations that 32-bit imposed on this size of files that could be loaded in before, that's, that's, that's blown up and they can load much bigger files. And, and then there are some other SDK improvements as well, which are a little bit more behind the scenes, but should uh, create a better user experience for our customers using their plugins in in, uh, in AAX. Awesome. Well, this has been great. Thanks for, for making the time coming by the booth and, and uh, talking to uh, our, the customers. Guys, thanks for joining us online. For more information about Isotope, you can go to uh, www.isotope.com. Yeah. Um, any more information on Avid AAX plugins, go to avid.com forward slash plugins and check out the new plugin, uh, plugin finder. And uh, thanks so much for joining us here. We'll see you online. Thank you. Thanks. thanks.